In this example, the students are um, interacting with an online lab. And so we decided to use Google Earth for this because the faculty member felt it was the best tool to be able to do this. And so what we're having them do here is they actually get to practice uh, before submitting their lab. So, um, and what is nice about this is this is a fairly substantial course. So there's a, a potential for about 350 students in it. And so he wanted a way that the labs were auto graded by Canvas, which is our uh, system that we use. And so um, what we did here is we uh, laid out the lab. Um, we allow the students to download a copy of the lab as a Word document that they can work in, find the answers, um, fill everything in, and then they take that and then they enter the results over in Canvas. And so um, we give them goals for what they're supposed to be able to do with this lab. And um, we give them the data that they can download. If they're not familiar with Google Earth, they should be because they should have completed that uh, the week before this assignment in the orientation. But if they didn't, we always make sure that that's available for them to do. Um, for the instructions, uh, we give them pretty um, detailed instructions on what it is they need to do so they can re refer back to that if they need to. Um, and then we give them the practice questions. So a lot of um, students were having a hard time um, submitting their answers because they were just running out of time because they weren't sure how to answer the question. So we gave them some practice questions so they can practice with Google Earth before they actually need to do anything um, that has any points tied to it for the course. So, and the students seem to really appreciate that because, you know, who wants to do badly because the, the tool that they're using um, is difficult to use. So we're making sure they get plenty of practice before they ever have to submit anything. Um, and so this example, they're using real live data. They're using um, an external tool and um, what they're trying to figure out in this lab is a real world problem. So there's lots of really good stuff um, that this particular example um, does as far as the interaction goes.